Believe it or not, this giant organ located in St. Stephen's Cathedral in Vienna, Austria, is actually a contemporary piece of music artistry. The organ was built um, by Johann M. Kaufmann of Vienna between 1956 and 1960. It has four manuals, 125 registers, and 10,000 pipes, all built by Johann. An impressive feat for an impressive cathedral. The organ was unplayable since 1991, and uh, in 2020 was re-inaugurated exactly 75 years after its predecessor. <coughs> The entire organ was dismantled and taken to Rieger Orgelbaufirma of Vorarlberg, Austria to be rebuilt. Um, so now the gallery organ has four manuals and 55 registers. Oh no, they used the other organ to do that, sorry. Um, the entire organ has been completely rebuilt and is now in use by the current uh, organist of St. Stephen's Cathedral. The cathedral, being so impressive in its own size and beauty, needed something large to compete with the cathedral itself, and this giant organ was built um, to the pride of those in Vienna. And it's exciting that it can be played even now that it has been rebuilt by Rieger. Um, I can't believe that it took only four years to build the original organ. It's so large. 10,000 pipes. It, it's difficult to believe. It was um, definitely... Um, a feat of modern man and exciting to behold when you step into St. Stephen's Cathedral. It was one of the first things I was drawn to because it reminded me of the organ that was played when I was little at my grandparents' church. And um, I've had a, a fond spot for organs ever since. I didn't realize that organs and pianos were different instruments when I was smaller. And now I'm, I'm just kind of obsessed with them and the sounds they make. I wish we could have heard all four of the organs that they have in the cathedral um, and the difference between the one that was commissioned in 1991 and the one that the original one and what it sounded like after it was fixed up in 2020. I just think it would have been really excited to, to hear all those different sounds. But... We have a visual piece of art to look at regardless, and maybe one day I'll get back to Vienna so I can actually hear them being played. <laughs>